y equals negative 3x plus 2 represents a linear equation and it's in slope intercept form. This tells us that the m, or the slope, is the number which is right next to the x. So therefore, our slope here is negative 3. And our y-intercept is going to be the constant at the end, so in this case it's going to be 2. I can start by graphing my y-intercept. So graphing a y-intercept of 2, on the y-axis I go up 1, 2, and I know that there's, that's going to be a point on the line. Now I can follow my slope. A slope of negative 3, remember, is going to mean that we have we go down 3. Negative 3 means there's a rise of negative 3 or down 3 every time we go over 1. So slope of negative 3 means we go down 3 when we go over 1. And I can use this to find additional points. I simply go down 1, 2, 3 from my y-intercept over 1, and I found another point. And I can continue doing that. Down 1, 2, 3, over 1. And any time I do that, it's going to be another point on the line. Going in the opposite direction, if I were to go up 3, 1, 2, 3, I would go back 1. Again, those are going to result in points on the same line. So now I can simply connect all those points, and this line represents the solution set. It's the graph and any point on this line is a solution to y equals negative 3x plus 2. The negative 3 is my slope, or it can be represented as negative 3 over 1, and my y-intercept is a positive 2. Thank you.